Now we're getting down to it. The Indianapolis Colts are going to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars in about 48 hours, and we're going to find out what this team is, and we're going to find out what the quarterback is, and we're going to find out what Shane Steichen is. We had a chance to talk to Shane Steichen, and, and if you listen to this whole video, you're going to hear toward the end me ask perhaps the dumbest question in the history of Colts media availabilities. Just wait for it, and you're going to scratch your head and say, what the hell was he thinking? Um, I'll open it up uh, just right now with the roster stuff. We're just we're not rolling anybody out uh, right now, so that will open up the questions. What um, do you ever get a pulse for your team, or can you get a pulse for your team, like particularly on Friday? You know, as you get closer to the game, what are you looking for in terms of like knowing they're ready? I think execution. I think it starts in the meetings on uh, Wednesday. We got to execute at a high level Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You know what I mean? Uh, Friday is a red zone day for us, which I'm sure it is around the league for most teams. Is uh, we got to be on it. Uh, we got to score points in the red zone, and obviously we got to stop them from scoring points. But it's just the execution and just the energy that we bring, and just you know seeing the guys focus. That's what I look for. You guys aren't ruling out Zach. Obviously, feel like he had a good week. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We're still working through it. Yeah. Was he full today? Can you say? Um, no. Yeah. So Shaq is Shaq full go now. Yeah. He's clear. Yeah. He's what will be the determining factor on Zach? I don't know. We're just going to look through it, go look at the practice tape, talk to him, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, you see Jelani. Is Jelani, I know he's on IR. Is he still attending meetings and all that? Yeah. Is, yeah. That, is Jonathan attending meetings? Yeah, he, he's, he's in the building. When he's in here, he's rehabbing too. Yeah. What, what kind of uh, spirit does Shaq bring? You know, he's got, <clears throat> he wants to get back to being himself, and he said that's still to come. But just his presence, what does it bring? Does I mean, just a guy that's been in this league for a while, um, just his leadership, the intensity he brings. I mean, you can feel him out there. You know, as a coach, seeing him on the defensive side of the ball, calling out plays, calling out formations, uh, just the accountability, the energy every single day. I mean, it's impressive to see a guy like that and what he's been through, like we talked about before, to get back to where he's at right now. It's pretty impressive. How have you seen Pittman sort of take over the receiver room and, and sort of be the guy that needs to help the quarterback maybe as, as much as he can. Yeah, no, it's big. Obviously, he's the leader in that room. Um, you know, he's a, he's a physical player. Um, he can run the whole route tree. I'm excited where he's at, but just from a leadership standpoint, you know, being with AR, talking through different things with him, making sure they're on the same page, it's been really good to see. Shane, four wideouts in the 53, if anyone you practice squad wise, is it hard to even evolve like a fifth wideout in an offensive? It's too much made about like yeah it just depends you know what i mean you look at the games you know it just depends on the body types that you have um and how you manage it you know what i'm saying um because if someone goes down even if you have five and you got your top three guys if someone gets dinged, someone gets dinged up or needs a breather like someone's got to go in and be ready to go it was saying like he wants to be the guy that anthony trust like can just trust in any situation how important is it for a quarterback to have that in his receivers? Oh, I think it's everything. I mean, the trust factor uh, with the quarterback, receivers, tight ends, and running backs in the past game is huge. Just making sure you're on the same page because all guys run routes just a little bit different. Um, so depths might be a little different on certain things for certain defenders, you know what I mean? So they just all got to be on the same thing, and body language is a big deal, you know, when you're throwing to those guys. So just working through those things in practice and make sure we're on the same page. And he was saying it's even bigger for, he was saying it's even bigger for a young quarterback because he just wants to take out. Like he's got so much going on already, he wants to take stuff away, from, like take stuff out that he has to think about. Yeah, I, I think with anything, you got a leader like that that wants to help him any way he can. I think it's good. Uh, going back to the the four receivers, um, I guess you could kind of argue like you have you have, you have Pittman and Pierce, mm -hmm. and then you have two guys who are you know smaller guys who are kind of sort of in that slot, yeah, that's put, role, have, yeah put in that box. Um, does that make up <laughs> ideal or? I don't know. Is that, it just that, depends on how you look at it. You know what I mean? I look at it like we can kind of rotate guys, even though they're the slot receivers. It doesn't mean that they can't play on the outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why we work through it all week uh, when, we, when we do the game plan. Okay. Yeah. Shane, did, you, did you watch last night as a fan at all? I did. Is that usually taken Thursday night like that? I try to, yeah. I try to watch the Thursday night game. Do I watch the whole thing? No, because on the East Coast it gets late. Um, but I did watch a good chunk of it last night. I know uh, no, he did not. He was gone for a personal reason, but he'll be back. Yeah. I mean, any, um, any emotions that you think you'll have tomorrow night thinking about the first game? Yeah, I mean, I've thought about a lot. My first talk to the game, you know, team before the game, um, I'm excited about it. I really am. You know, to go out there with these group of guys, you know, week one opportunity to be in the National Football League, like I talked about last week, is, and it's an honor. So just super excited and fired up, ready to go.
Jackson? He's an electric route runner. I mean, for me personally, I think he's one of the best uh, in the league as a route runner. Um, he's explosive. He's got great hands, and he can set up defenders. The way he runs his route, he's kind of like a basketball player, just like in and out of breaks with his feet. Um, so we got to be on it with him. Secondary is so young. Has anybody kind of separated himself as a leader of that group? Uh, the, the secondary? The guys in you know, general? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kenny Moore, to me, is the leader oh. of that group. You know what I mean? Kenny Moore is the leader of that group. Um, and then all those guys, you know, they're battling, and obviously everyone's lifting each other up, but really like where that group's at. When you're dealing with one more than an offense like the Jaguars that can get the ball so quickly, and sacks may not be, and, you know, you can't really wrap those up. How do you disrupt that when, when the ball's getting out so quick? Well, I think, you know, from a defensive line, if they are getting the ball quick, we've got to be able to get our hands up if we can, and then obviously we got to be sticky in coverage, you know, and we just can't create, we can't let them have the explosive plays when they do <coughs> something quick, you know what I mean? we got to tackle and wrap up. All right. That's Shane Steichen. Did I tell you the truth? Dumbest question ever. Young secondary. Who's separated as the leader? How about Kenny Moore? I always think, I don't think of Kenny Moore as a member of the secondary. I think of him as kind of a, a hybrid corner linebacker type guy who covers the slot a little bit. They blitz him sometimes. He's good as a run stopper. He does a lot of things. He's not a traditional cornerback, so I never think of him that way. I think of Dallas Flowers, DJ Baker, you know, uh, Rodney Thomas. I think of Nick Cross. I think of Julian Blackman. Juju Brent, all those guys, Jalen Jones, I think of all of them, I don't think of Kenny Moore as a member of that group, and of course, he is a member of that group, but good to hear from Shane Steichen, it sounds like he's really excited about Sunday, and what I want to see from Shane Steichen is this, I want to see some balls, I want to see a guy coach to win instead of coach to not lose. Coaching away from mistakes has its place, but I want to see a guy coach aggressively and with belief in his team. And if we see that on Sunday, I think the result is going to bear it out. Colts go win that game Sunday.